In this video, we are going to study that what is called a dimension in the measurement systems. So let us start with our topic. We know that in this universe, in this world, we are having various physical quantities like length, mass, time, temperature, velocity and many more. Now each, every physical quantity, it has its own identity, means that length, we by measuring the length, we say that how long that item is or how long that object is. If we are saying that weight, it means that we are measuring or mass, we are saying, so we are measuring that how heavy that object is. So in this physical world or in this universe we are having various physical quantities and some of the example of these physical quantities is like length mass time temperature velocity and many more okay now, as I have said that if we are measuring length, if we are specifying length, it means that how long that object is. If we are specifying mass, then if we are saying that how heavy that object is. If we are measuring the temperature, it means we are measuring that how hot or cold that object is. If we are saying velocity, it means that we are saying that how fast that object is moving. So every physical quantity, it has its own identity. Now, this identity is nothing but it is the way to distinguish that physical quantity from the other physical quantities like we are saying length it means that we are measuring that how long that object is that length is going to distinguish it from the velocity because in velocity we are measuring that how fast that object is moving so every physical quantity is having its own identity which is distinguish it distinguishing itself from the other physical quantities okay So, dimension is defined as the unique quality, this unique quality or this unique identity possessed by, possessed by every physical quantity. is called dimension okay so these physical quantities length mass temperature time velocity acceleration all these physical quantities they will have their particular identity and that identity can be represented in the form of the dimension okay so every physical quantity will have its unique identity or we can say it will have its unique dimension. Now when we measure these physical quantities then we express the result of our measurement in terms of a number plus a unit. Like suppose we are measuring the physical quantity length. So we will represent the length. Suppose like we are measuring the length of a um, staircase. Okay. So suppose that length is coming out to be like 15 meters. So 15 is the number and meter is the unit. Okay. So the result of every measurement or any physical quantity, it will be expressed in terms of a number and a unit. Now there are 
various types of units like there are fundamental units also and derived units also. Fundamental units means that they cannot be expressed in terms of other units. Derived units, they can be expressed in terms of fundamental units. So, unit is related with the physical quantity and dimension is also related with the physical quantity. So, we can say that the there are some physical quantities which uh, are called the fundamental quantities. Okay, now, so when we are representing these physical quantities or when we want to represent the dimension of that physical quantities, so symbolically the dimension which is a square bracket. So whenever we are specifying the dimension of the physical quantities, then it is expressed in the square bracket in this form. Okay. Now, as I have said here that the unit for the length is meter. Okay. And meter So, meter will be the unit for the length. Length, its unit is meter. But its dimension will be how we are measuring the length. We will put this symbol for length that is L in the square bracket. Okay. Now, if we say mass its unit is in grams we measure it in grams or kilograms okay but its dimension is m put the symbol m in the square bracket again for time its unit is seconds Means whenever we are going to measure the time, we will express that result in terms of seconds and the number like 5 seconds, 10 seconds, 12 seconds. So second is the standard unit. But its dimension is T. We will put this in the square bracket. So these three length, mass and time, these are the fundamental physical quantities. And if we want to express some other physical quantities, then we will express them in the terms of these three quantities. So what we do in the dimension, in the dimensions, when we express the dimension of the other physical quantities, they are going to express that quantity in terms of mass, in terms of length, in terms of time. Okay, let's take an example. As I said that velocity is also a physical quantity. So the unit for velocity is meters per second okay so meter is the unit for length and second is the unit for time so length we will write l for time we will write t but it is meter per second means the if we write it like this meter divided by second so for meter we will write l for second we will write t so it will be expressed as l t minus 1 
नेक्स्ट टेक द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ वॉल्यूम वॉल्यूम इज ऑल्सो फिजिकल क्वांटिटी हाउ वी मेजर वॉल्यूम लेंथ इन टू ब्रेथ इन टू हाइट लेंथ इज ऑल्सो मेजर्ड इन मीटर्स ब्रेथ इज ऑल्सो मेजर्ड इन मीटर्स हाइट इज ऑल्सो मेजर्ड इन मीटर्स सो ऑल दीज थ्री आर द यूनिट फॉर द लेंथ सो फॉर दिस ऑल्सो वी विल राइट एल फॉर दिस ऑल्सो वी आर गोइंग टू राइट एल फॉर दिस ऑल्सो वी आर गोइंग टू राइट एल मल्टीप्लाई देम बिकॉज वी आर हैविंग थ्री टाइम्स द लेंथ सो इट विल बिकम एल क्यूब सो दैट विल बिकम द डायमेंशन फॉर द वॉल्यूम एंड एल टी माइनस वन इज द डायमेंशन फॉर वेलोसिटी सो इन दिस वे वेन एवर डायमेंशन मीन्स दैट वी आर एक्सप्रेसिंग दैट फिजिकल क्वॉंटिटी इन टर्म्स ऑफ मास लेंथ एंड टाइम ओके नाउ सपोज दैट बिकॉज वी नो दैट एवरी फिजिकल क्वॉंटिटी because uh, it is measured in terms of some other physical quantities like as I, you have seen that uh, velocity is also a physical quantity but it is measured in terms of length and time okay so it is expressed in that it has its formula okay so in the same way every physical quantity has its formula so we what we do we just express that formula in terms of the mass length and time put the value in them and get the dimension for that physical quantity if some constant term is involved in that formula then constant terms they are dimensionless so we have got the definition of dimension that dimension is the unique identity of a physical quantity and this dimension is expressed in the square brackets now what is the use of the dimension what is uh, why it is very helpful to us and why we want to calculate the dimension of every physical quantity let's see so first use of the dimension is that if we want to get the if you want to express the derived quantities in terms of fundamental quantities also we can get the complete algebraic formula of the quantity also the dimension it helps in doing the dimensional analysis dimensional analysis means that uh, if we are given any equation equation means that we will have an equal to sign some terms are present on the left hand side and some present are on the right hand side okay so on the left hand side also we are having some physical quantities on the right hand side also we are having some physical quantities okay so if we compare we if we compare the dimensions of the left hand side and the right hand side then if the dimensions are not coming out to be equal it means that this equation is not balanced so for the balancing of the equations the dimensional analysis is being done dimensional analysis means we are checking that whether the dimensions of all the physical quantities present on the left hand side is equal to the dimensions of all the physical quantities present on the right hand side okay we equate them and when we get the equal physical quantities it means that our equation is balanced so dimension is also very helpful in doing the dimensional analysis that is for the equating of the uh, equations okay so these are the usefulness of the dimension okay now let us see some of the dimensions of the quantities
let's see for the acceleration we know that acceleration its unit is meter per second square so for meter again the length that is l for second square means the time so t square is there so its dimension will be l t square t minus 2 sorry l t minus 2 now here the mass is not involved so if we want to express in it in standard terms the power of m will become 0 the power for l is 1 and the power for t is minus 2 okay in this way also we can represent the dimension next is force we know that force is what mass into acceleration now for mass we will write m for acceleration we already know its dimension okay l t minus 2 so m l t minus 2 is the dimension for force another is energy energy is what power into time power is what work in divided by time now work is what force into distance and then time is there and divide by time again force is what mass into acceleration so just you have to do that you have to replace you have to express the physical quantities in terms of other quantities and bring them in the terms of mass length and time then only you will be able to find the dimension for it so if we see the dimension for energy energy is m l 2 t minus 2 because force is again mass into acceleration so m is there l is there t minus 2 is there time and time will be cancelled l distance is also measured in l so we will have length and length multiplied with each other so it will become l2 and t minus 2 is already there force m l2 t minus 2 that is the dimension for energy so in this way you can find out the dimension of the various physical quantities in terms of mass length and time okay so if we in simple words if we express that what is dimension dimension means we are expressing the physical quantities in terms of mass length and time okay so i hope that this topic is now clear to you thank you